everybody knows that we, we clip our horses and clean them and get them prettied up for a horse show. And a lot of people say, well, that, that's, a, that's a job. But Jerry, you have a very unique way of giving a horse a haircut and letting him learn that it's not that big a deal. Yes, you just gotta take your time with them and show them that, you know. A lot of rubbing and no rubbing, twister. No twister. I don't let them like to put a twist on a horse to, um, twi to clip him because my father always told me once you start something, you gotta continue doing yeah. that. And you ever teach him the right way and, and teach him where to, to let him trust you. Well, I noticed that one came in pretty quick, but now you've got him, you've got him tied crossways and down. Yeah. to where he can't rear up and, and really do a lot of damage and, and start pawing and everything, which is good. But I, I that still more, doesn't stop him from throwing a fit yeah. every now and then. I have more attention on that rope that's tied down than the ones that's on the side. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can tell that. And just let him here relax and just take his time and get listen to the clippers and everything and get used to somebody rubbing on top of the head. Well, I'll tell you what, he's uh, I like the way you did this. Instead of going to cutting, you went to rubbing. Yeah. And, and just letting him feel that buzzing up again. The vibration <laughs> on him and stuff like that. Because pretty much that's what they mostly jump from, is just the, the vibration the first time. And it's kind of getting used to it. But it's the very first time this coat ever been really got out of stall and touch. Well, that's, we, uh, people need to know that. We got him out. I, I put a video out of you leading him around, but that was the same day. Yeah. And, uh, we did put just a tad of this video out, and there was one lady made the remark that uh, she wished hers would stand that still. But it, it, it's not always just that still, because he, he, he has times when he throws his yeah. fit, but you yeah. just keep going. That's right, you just don't, I mean, when he throw a fit, you let him throw his little fit, and you let him calm down, and you start back over. Well, he, uh, Well, he, he's pretty smart. Yes. Now that I'm gonna he give him very smart coat. It, like the racket he just now heard. He, some some horses jump through their skin over that, but he didn't. He just, he, of course, it, it scared him a little bit, but he didn't go nuts over it. And that's one thing. When, when you're looking at these coats, I just, uh, now this right here is an honors out of a deal for real mare. Yeah. You know, and I just like to just take my time and let them learn, teach them how to be clipped. That's like shooting, um, trimming a horse for the first time on his feet, giving yep. him, uh, you know, shoeing him, as teaching him how to do it. Instead of giving him some kind of tranquilizer or putting a twitch on them or whatever, learn them that they can do it. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to be doing that uh, with uh, Jeff Duke this week. Yeah. Uh, trimming this one's feet a little bit because he, he does have a pretty long toe. And you do this a couple of times with this coat like this here, eventually he'll be able, you'll be able to sit there and clip him with no problem, wouldn't even have to tie him down. Just, just drop the reins and he'll just stay in there. There we go. We just sit back, and just let him sit there, just let him be it. So the lady that said wished hers would stand still, yeah. now you know he didn't stand yeah, still, still all the that's time. That's right. <laughs> This is good education for a lot of people on trimming their horse and knowing that it can be done. You just have to work with them, tie them properly, because he's got plenty of room to move his head, yeah. but he cannot rear up. And uh, that's the main thing. You don't want him to where they can rear up and paw you. Yeah. And just being calm with him. You know, yeah. you, when he done that little fit right there that he done, you know, if I would have got the yelling and hollering, that is made that much worse. Yep. But just let him relax, and you can finish getting the job done. But well, pretty much all the horses I have at my stables or whatever, I can clip them without putting a twitch on, do the ears and all the same right. way, because I just try to teach them how to do it. Well, we're fixing to uh, trim his ears, and. Uh, 
that's when I really was expecting him to have a big fit. But being calm with him and talking yeah, to, him, to him, he, he really never, never really acted up no. that much on the ear part. But just raising up, watching my dad do stuff like that. I learned a whole bunch of this stuff from my dad. Oh, you know, just sitting just there watching, watching what he did. Watching what he did. Because, you know, where I come down in Louisiana, we had all different type of horses. Quarter horses, walking horses, and all, you know. Well, you know, most kids think their parents don't know nothing. Oh, yeah. At least you, <laughs> at least you had enough sense to think they knew more than yeah, you did. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I noticed Jeremy pays strict attention to what you say. <laughs> He's learning a lot. But you all, you can learn something from anybody. When you get to the point that you think you know it all, you don't know as much as you think you do. <laughs> That's it. Anybody can show you anything. You just thought you knew. That's right. My boy, he was going fishing. He wanted to use the boat. And this was when he was still a teenager. He and one of his buddies, they backed the truck up there and hooked the boat up, and the boat lights wouldn't come on. And he said, what are we going to do? I said, just pull up real easy and slam your brakes on. He said, what? I said, just pull up, just, you know, just barely pull up and hit your brakes. He looked at his butt and he said, he thinks we're dumb enough to believe that's going to fix everything. He drove up <laughs> just a little, hit them brakes, them lights come on. Both of them looked at me and said, how'd you do that? <laughs> they, they thought I was a magic man. <laughs> Now, this coat here is a very smart coat. You know, all of them, all horses do different. You know, all of them will throw a little bit more of it, but you just got to sit there and just take your time and, and just do it. Well, I noticed he just kind of blended right with you once you got his attention and started working with him. And uh, afterwards, I'd walk up to him, pet him. If he just... Uh, they're relaxing, and that has to do with a lot of horses. Now you're going to throw that fit again. He does not sit there, yeah. He just sit there, and then eventually. See, if I would have had them ropes on the side real tight right there, he really would throw a fit. could wrap and flip over backwards or whatever. But with that one rope holding down, you know, that kind of. That's it. It just looks like anything else with a horse. If you control his head, you can control him. Well, you did a good job of this, and, and he took the he took the trimming well. Yeah. I mean, he only threw two. Well, no, nah, he threw three fits. Uh, the first one I I didn't video, but after that I did. Yeah. And uh, but none of them was any more than what he just did. Yeah. Yeah. But if you can control a horse's head, you got him controlled. A horse's biggest strength is through his head. Well, the next time you get ready to trim him up a little bit, he won't be near the problem, problem. Yeah, that's right. as he was this time. And then the next time, it'll be easier than that. I remember we did one video of you uh, trimming a yearling for the first time. Now, we started him a little earlier. Yeah. By the time he's a yearling, he'll just stand there and let you do what you want to do. But you know, I've seen older horses that you couldn't trim them. Yeah, I, I mean, mean they, they just not going to have it. You're going to have to put a twister on them and work with them. And I got a few of older horses in that you had to do that. And by the time I got to put one, I got to the point where I could trim them, you know, without no twister or whatever. Well, I can say this. This is. Y'all remember this one right here? This is 911, and he is going to be a piece of work. He's already big. We just took him away from his mother. Yes. What a week, week uh -huh. and a half ago. rub on him and teach him how, you know, everything's okay. Let him know. Yeah. For all you first-timers out there, just remember, 
it's the tone of your voice and the way you talk to the animals is makes a world of difference. In between my dad and a lot of other people I worked for during the years, they taught me everywhere I went, and they taught me something about a horse. You know, a lot of people that, uh, if they remember back on the uh, Secretariat movie, the groom for that horse, if they remember the way he talked to the horse, mm -hmm. people may not believe, but that works. Oh yeah. It, it calms them down. It makes them realize that, hey, that's one reason these horses, they get along with kids a lot better than they do grown-ups. You're exactly right. My little grandson, I had some yearlings, some weanlings that was out in the field that I weaned and never was touched. And it was a lot easier because I didn't know in the afternoons he was going out there by himself, out there riding the horse, um, petting on the horse himself. But now when I went and touched him, I said, man, these horses are so, are so friendly to fool with, they ain't wild. He said, he, told, he called me no-no. He said, no-no, I can show you how to catch them. And he just walked right there, and he walked right there to him. <laughs> well, they, the kids get out there, and they play with them, yeah. and they, they understand that. That's why I believe that, that fooling with these colts and stuff, red dirt girl, I could walk out in the pasture with a wormer and worm her yes. and never put a halter on her. Just walk out there and lift her head up and, and put the wormer to her. She never threw a fit or anything. And once you give these horses haircuts, it just make them look just so much better. I mean, just like a human being going to get a haircut from the barber shop. I mean, it is. Well, it's like Robert Morgan told me, uh, when, when one's born, if you'll get down there and let it get your scent, yeah. that makes a difference too. Makes a big difference. So they will remember that later. I know a buddy of mine told me, he said, oh, you're already making a pet out of them. Well, to me, all of them are pets. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I just can't help it. You, you pet on them, you talk to them. Did you see that? That coat finally realized that he wasn't gonna get hurt or whatever, and everything is all right, and he just stand there, just taking it. Yeah, he's sitting there now saying, how do I look? Yeah. They can look in the mirror, and he, he'll be fine. And just don't get in no hurry with it, you know? Well, this whole video is about 16 minutes, Jerry, and you took your time, you didn't push him, but he got clipped, he looked good, and it's all in how you talk, how you treat, and how quick you go. You cannot yeah. push. You have to have patience. That's the biggest thing. Now, if you don't have patience, the horse business is not for you. That's it. You gotta you work to with patience. them. You got it off a of high speed now. Yeah. Is this the finesse speed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, a little thick hair up underneath that chin there. They got a nice set of ears. You know, after after we got done, you went out and walked him walked for him a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. And he, he's got a good stride to him. I'm, I'm tickled with him. So you can see every once in a while he'll relax off that rope, the bottom rope there, mm -hmm. and the side rope, and well, stand there. Them side ropes are at ease right yeah. now, mm -hmm. and he doesn't have that bottom rope pulled. That's tight. right. He don't. He relax off of it. Now, if you in a hurry and it's kind of going there real quick, it'll make them more nervous. Cut his eyelashes yeah. off, please. I just hope we got people out there paying attention to this and learning and do their babies this way. If they do. 
it's going to be a whole lot better on them. Yeah. Say, I'm done now. First haircut. Get that loose hair gone. Yeah. We're ready to rumble. 